Hello, my lovelies. So, uh, we're doing a different camera angle today. Um, we're trying something out. I don't know. Uh, with the way my lighting and stuff is, I feel like sometimes you can't see what's going on in the back, maybe, or from the side. So, we're going to try this as a one-off and see how it works. Granted, you know, the camera's right in the middle of the shot, but it can't be helped because I don't really know what to do about that yet. But it's experimentation. Anyways, uh, we are doing a hairstyle today. You didn't think you were getting one, but you are. So, uh, your hairstyle today. I watched a show on Comedy Central called uh, Another Period. It's a comedy. It's kind of like the real housewives, housewives of Downton Alley via Monty Python, maybe, or Kids in the Hall. I don't know. Um. Yeah, uh, if, I recommend it if you have a certain sense of humor. Um, I actually found it really funny. But one of the characters, Beatrice, had a really pretty variation on a Gibson talk. So that's what we're going to do today because it was pretty and I knew it wouldn't be too difficult. So that's what we're doing. Um, so we want to start by gathering our hair in a ponytail. A low pony. Uh, well, we're going to start by doing a Gibson talk. Now. Some of you may be looking at my hair going, wow, uh, how exactly does that work? Um, which, yeah, I got a lot of hair. Uh, I, I can still do a Gibson tuck. We just have to pull it through many, 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 many times um, instead of, you know, rolling and tucking. Um, and I have a video on that, in case you were wondering. Um, I didn't know it was called a Gibson tuck at the time. That's how old it is. But anyways, uh, look, you can actually see the back straight on. So we're going to pony. Uh, it is a lower-ish pony. Um, real quick. And then we're going to do the pull through uh, like we always do. Uh, if you have, uh, oh, what is that thing called? I can't even remember. Topsy tail? Is that what it's called? You can use that. Uh, I just use my fingers. Um, split vaguely in two, run two fingers up, grab, pull through. Ding, 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 ding. Like so. Lovely. But since we are doing a Gibson Tuck, we have to do this a few more times. Um, like I said, it's doable. It's just, you know. Um, your second time through, hold a little up like this. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm just going to hold my thumb here so it doesn't go through a terrible amount of times. Pop my fingers back up in there. Grab again. Pull through. Still holding my thumbs here to kind of keep this. Do you see? Very nice. Now we have, actually that's good. That should be twice through for me and maybe once through for you. Um, we should have this much left over and now what we're going to do is do little uh, kind of rosettes, little twirl flower things. So I'm going to use um, bobby pins. These are the shorter ones. I had to dig out and find them. Um, I might end up using the longer ones, but I wanted to make sure I had shorties for a change. Uh, just in case. <laughs> so let's start. Well, let's start right in the middle. So I'm going to separate this hair that I have left over. Try to get a piece that's fairly in the middle. I'm going to bring it up. Just going to twirl it like this. Ding, ding, ding. And then we're going to tuck, and where's my mirror, just so I can make sure this looks like it does in my head. Yeah, good. Okay. And pin. I am going to use a big pin. At least for this first one. Will that hold with one? Yes. It will, but I'm going to add a small pin on this side, um, 
just to keep this from popping up and ruining our loop. If you would like these strands, um, if you would like them to look more like roses, uh, you can do um, rope braids if you would prefer. I'm just doing this kind of as a quickie. So I'm going to just do little rolls and be done with it because that's what I do. I do recommend uh, checking with your uh, mirror first. Just to see, you know, that it's looking the way you want it to. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna roll these little babies up and pin them and then I will show you what it looks like when we're done. Back in a sec. All righty dolls, uh, this is how it ends up looking. Um, which is not exactly the same, uh, but I actually know why that is, uh, because, you know, um, I had to do a lot of this, this, this kind of deal. Um, if you find that this is not looking as smooth as you want, this is a very easy fix. Once you have all your dealios in, all you have to do is, uh, use my mirror so I'm doing right, um, you just kind of smooth it. You can move it around a little bit as such to keep it nice and smooth the way you want it to be, which looks pretty decent. Um, could have done a better job on that little rosette, but by and large, that doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all. Um, the front, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I've never figured out how to make that look pretty. I always figured this is a great one for a hat. Um, the Gibson Tuck in general is pretty good for a hat. This comes up a little high, I guess. Well, if you're wearing a higher hat, you'll be all right. Um, but it's still really pretty. I'm probably gonna pull my bangs down and blow them out. Bangs. Just so I'll have something going on up front. Uh, my cat like is bad today, but uh, I'll fix that. So, uh, any hoodles, there is your uh, variation of a Gibson Tuck or Beatrice's hairstyle from another period. Um, it's a thing. It's definitely, definitely a thing. So, um, yeah. Nice short one today. Uh, it's nice when we do variations on styles. We already know. Uh, if you want to do the original regular Gibson Tuck, um, I will link to that in the, in the underbar for you so you can find it without having to look for it. But uh, that's it for today. Um, I'm going to do my bangs, take some pictures, and then slap the sucker up hopefully before everybody goes to bed. Alright my lovelies, until next time, have a great day. I love you guys. Bye!